So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue our sorting playlist of arrays and today we are going to cover a question named the chocolate distribution problem. I will mention the link of this question in the description and before proceeding ahead if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe so that we can learn maintain and grow our streak together. Okay, let us read the question what it says. So given an array A of positive integers of size n where each value represents the number of chocolates in a packet. Great. Each packet can have a variable number of chocolates. Okay. So the okay. So each packet, okay, there are m students. The task is to distribute the packets among the m students such that har ek student ko ek packet milna hi chahiye. Like exactly one packet is milna chahiye, right? And the difference the another constraint is कि जो maximum number of chocolates होंगे और जो minimum number of chocolates होंगे उनका जो difference है वो minimum होना चाहिए हमें इस तरह से m packets को assign करना है out of uh, n packets available correct तो अगर आप देखो पहला input देखो आप right तो n equals to 8 and m equals to 5 and these are the actual n packets with the variable chocolate size right and it is saying that the minimum difference between maximum chocolates and the minimum chocolates is 9 minus 3 that is equals to 6 by choosing the following m packets that is 3, 4, 9, 7 and 9 right so how this question is related to our sorting technique? How it is? How it is related? So, agar ab dekho. So what is our need? Our need is to find the maximum number of chocolates, the difference of maximum number of chocolates given to a student and the minimum number of chocolates given to a student, right? So, matlab aapke paas kuch ek numbers honge. Like let's say you will have let's say number two, three, seven, and nine. And clearly you can see that the maximum is here and the minimum is here, right? And you need to find the difference. You need to find the difference and similarly for all the m packets available you need to get the difference right so pehla jo input hai hum usko copy karte 3 4 1 9 is, is copy karte open board mein and then we'll proceed Thige. so this is the input array right and definitely agar hum let's say agar hum let's say ye group lete hain hamare paas panch ka packet right so let's say hum ye group lete hain and if you can clearly see that the maximum is 56 and the minimum is 3 अगर आप 56 minus 3 करोगे तो एक बहुत ही large value आएगा, right? 53. तो क्या हम ऐसा नहीं कह सकते थे कि हम उन arrays को ले जो already एक sorted form में हो, right? अगर ये sorted form में होता let's say, right? तो यहाँ पे definitely 56 हमारा कहीं last index पे lie कर रहा होता, right? और यहाँ पे कोई एक value हो रही हो रही होती which is less than 56, then for this particular group then we can have clearly said कि अब जो difference आएगा maximum और minimum का वो definitely 53 से तो less ही होने वाला है right so that's the reason we will sort this array let us sort this array and then compare all the possible groups so what would be the array after sorting it would be 1 3 4 7 9 9 12 and 56 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so how many elements are there eight elements are there correct right so what we will do that now we will form a m groups here the first group will start from 1 to let's say this 9 the second group will start from 3 to this one and the third group will start from here and the fourth group or let's say the last group will start from here right and what are the indexes associated with it so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 right now in this group in this group if you compare what is the maximum and minimum the maximum would be 1 uh, sorry the minimum uh, the ma maximum would be 9 and the minimum would be 1 and if you get the difference it would be 8 similarly for this case what would be the maximum maximum would be 9 minimum would be 3 if you get the difference it would be 6 right similarly for this group the maximum would be 12 minus 4 which will give you as 8 and for this last group it would be 56 minus 4 which will give you as 52 right so we have to group where minimum difference so what's the minimum between 8 6 8 and 52 definitely 6 is the minimum right so which are the elements associated associated with this group the, the elements associated with this group are 3 4 7 9 and 9 and you can see that this uh, group exactly matches with this group right since we do not need to return the uh, the group uh, the actual group we just need to return the differences of the maximum and minimum right great great so what would be the pseudocode for this uh, particular approach and what would be the time complexity so we would be iterating using a for loop right till which index so for this particular thing i i will just iterate for for i equals to zero i less than equals to four and i plus plus right 
then what what i can do i will initialize a j pointer which will be nothing but i plus m minus 1 right from this zero i need four more elements to make a group of five right and since the index is starting from zero then definitely i will say i plus m minus 1 right and then again i will have a let's say answer variable which will be pointing to let's say the max value right and i will just check here i will just check here if my answer is what to say greater than greater than array of j minus array of i if that is the case then what you need to do is you just need to update it so you update your answer as array of j minus array of i right so we are doing nothing but maintaining the minimum difference value of the maximum and minimum for each possible group correct now let us standard standardize these numbers so what is the four here how can i, I write four so i know from this point to this point uh mm, what is that it is n minus one right and then or i can say that here n is nothing but equals to eight right so here is not n is nothing but equals to 8 and i want to reach 4 so let us minus the m m value so 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 will give you 3 right and we need to stop at this fourth index so definitely do a plus 1 as well yes so we have derived a formula so this 4 will be replaced by n minus m plus 1 yes great and that's it that is a pseudo code what with, what is the time complexity associated with it since we are using a just uh, for loop so it would be o of 1 o of o of n sorry and the space complexity since we are not using any additional data structure so it would be o of 1 now it is highly recommended for you guys to please dry run this particular method for some of the other test cases and you will get maybe you will get a more better understanding regarding it right now after doing that please pause this video here and try to code this particular approach in your code editor and then we will see the java code and the c plus code and then we can we shall end this video okay so that's the java code here the first step we discussed was to sort the particular uh, given array so here in this case we have an array list so arrays dot sort would not work because uh, so we, we we need to use the collection dot sort here correct and then we will initialize our answer to the long dot max value correct and then we have already defined that what this for loop is doing here correct also one more thing i can see that here the value would be not 4 for this particular value the smaller the smallest element would be 7 right so 56 minus 7 will give you not 52 but it will give you as 49 yes but then again the smallest value would be 6 here so that was just a simple mathematical mistake but yes we will get the same answer anyhow that's it yep yes and so that's it so so that means we are just iterating from 0 to 3 right so we are not going till 4 also so we will just uh, exclude this equals to sign here it will be just i less than equals to n minus m plus 1 and that is what we have written here i less than equals to n minus m plus 1 and everything remains same as we discussed let us hit the submit button for this code then we will see then we shall see the c plus plus code as well so great this question was actually an easy question if you are aware of the sorting techniques or if you have solved some substantial amount of question on array sorting then definitely you would have been able to done this question okay that's great let us move to the c plus plus code now okay so that is the c plus plus code and there are some error let me look at it okay so here goes our c plus plus code the same uh, steps are followed here again we will sort the given vector and then we will maintain an answer belonging to assigned to the long max then again we have a for loop going from less than equals to n minus n plus one we already discussed that standard variable we have assigned or uh, the standard nomenclature we have given to this particular ith index and rest of the thing remains same let us hit the submit button for this code as well and then we shall end this video on this good note great so all the test cases has been passed successfully let us end this video we'll meet again in the next video of our array sorting playlist till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care guys